Hey everyone, it's Ted Blosser from the platform team here at Box, and today I'm going to show you how you get access tokens for Box using Postman. So if you don't know already, Box uses the OAuth 2.0 standard to get access tokens. And that standard uh, really boils down to two requests that you have to make to Box. The first is you have to ask, ask Box for an authorization code. Once you get that authorization code, then what you have to do is ask Box for um, access tokens and refresh tokens to use in your application. It's really that simple. And so let's walk through the steps to uh, get that set up. So the first thing you want to do is go to your application. Uh, so I actually have an application set up here um, already called uh, OAuth Postman. And what we want to do is make sure we set up the redirect URI to redirect to a local host or uh, internal uh, IP address. And so here I uh, redirected it to HTTP uh, 0.0.0.0. .0, .0. And you can see a list of those um, applicable um, development URLs for redirect URIs uh, listed here. So you could use these three options. So once that's set up, what we want to do is set up our URL uh, for our GET request to get our authorization code. So if we go back to the documentation, um, I'm going to scroll down here and you'll see in this first leg we actually give you a sample uh, GET request. And I'm actually just going to use this request here. And so I'm going to take this request, I'm going to copy and paste it into a new browser. So you'll see I'll paste it up here. I actually need to fill in the My Client ID credentials. And so I'm going to go back to my application Excel, uh, copy and paste the client ID, and put it into my URL where it says My Client ID. And what you'll see is that it's actually going to redirect us to the window for uh, the user, which is me in this scenario, to log in. So I'm going to log in with my uh, demo account. I'm going to click Allow. And I'm not redirected anywhere, but what you do see is I get an authorization code, which I'll use for the next step. So what we'll do in the next step is use Postman to finish up this, finish up this final leg of the OAuth 2 process. If you're unfamiliar with Postman, we actually have a tutorial that walks you through how to use it, but we won't cover uh, it in too much detail mm -hmm. today. But what I have is a uh, pre-saved collection here, uh, which I already uh, configured for this OAuth 2 process. And so what it, what it will do is actually hit this URL with a post request with these four uh, URL encoded parameters. And so the grant type, client ID, client secret are all required, and I copy and pasted those from my application window that you saw earlier. But what we'll want to do, the last value, is paste this code in here that we received back on our first leg. And so let's just repeat this whole process again, and then in the last part of it now, what we'll do is take that code and copy and paste it here to get our access token. So if I click back to this documentation, I'm going to copy and paste this link again. Uh, go back to here. Let's go back and get my client ID. And let's paste it in here. And we have our first URL uh, populated. So I'm going to click Enter. You need to sign in again. Authorize the application. And you'll notice I now have a code. Now this code is only valid for 30 seconds, so you need to make sure that you paste it within that 30 second window. Now we have our last parameter in here. We're going to make this post request to box using Postman. And what you'll notice is that we get an access token and a refresh token. The access token is going to last for an hour, and the refresh token is going to last for 14 days. Uh, if after that hour uh, you want a new token or before that hour finishes, you can always request a new set of access tokens and refresh tokens uh, by using this refresh token. So hopefully uh, that tutorial helped out. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at api at box.com. But good luck developing on the Box platform.